Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Shibin. Uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, how to calculate uh, ESP calculation. It is uh, external static pressure calculation for uh, HVAC services. Today we will uh, see how to calculate this ESP calculation with the help of uh, ASHRAE duct fitting uh, database. There is a software available. We will see this software, we will study about this software and we will uh, see how, how finally we can calculate this uh, static pressure. Yes, uh, here now we are going to start uh, um, to calculate uh, ASHRAE duct fitting database ESP calculation. So first of all we need to, we have one software, ASHRAE uh, duct fitting database. Uh, no problem, I will put uh, download uh, link also with this video. We need to open this ASHRAE duct fitting uh, database. So I think already opened here yesterday. Yeah, it, it will be displayed like this. Just a minute, I will charge my bay. My laptop. Okay, it will be displayed like this. So what we need to do, here we need to put some values. So here we will get the uh, pressure loss in Pascal okay so what are the details we need to provide here you can see here duct height duct width and absolute uh, absolute uh, roughness length of the duct and the flow rate this these things you need to enter here so in order to that I will open one uh, drawing first to understand you and before opening the drawing, I will show you how will be the final report we need to prepare. Then only we will understand how it it will be. Anyway. So for that, not this one, this one. This will be the final reports actually. There will be lot of uh, fans will be there, FCU will be there. So all these things we need to calculate ESP. Uh, before that, I will tell you what is ESP. ESP what means? In the drawing, I will explain to you. ESP means, for example, here one machine is there in this drawing. This is one drawing actually in the floor. It, this drawing is there. See, this machine is there. This machine, whether it have a capacity to push the air till the last point of the, um, you know, diffuser or grill, whatever it is. We need to check which one is the worst point. Here, if the machine is here, this is very near actually. Okay, so uh, the worst case is this one. So we need to calculate ESP for this one. What is the friction loss uh, will uh, happen uh, for the for this completed acting, including all the fittings like extra, like reducer. There, if there is any VCD, is there VCD? We need to include any see this is vcd any uh, flexible duct is there we need to include and the plenum box we need to include and there is a grill or diffuser whatever it is that also we need to include then only we will get final esp this see fire damper is there fire damper is there fire damper we need to include here one flexible duct is there this we need to include here one mouth connection is there we need to in include everything we need to include in this esp calculation so this result uh, whatever the ESP is coming in the software, we need to enter in Excel sheet properly. How we will enter, I will show you. No, this one. See, with the numbering, there is a number, serial number we need to put all each fittings. Number one, straight duct, uh, floor height, uh, I mentioned here, and uh, height, uh, duct sizes, height, width, and length. Velocity automatically it will come in the software that you need to take from the software and you can uh, enter here and the pressure loss in Pascal you can mention here so total how many Pascal is there we will get it here so like this in the drawing also we need to put a numbering here we will, uh, for example if you are starting from here so here we will put this flexible uh, 01 this mouth connection 02 flexibly you can ignore actually no problem uh, mouth connection we need to con uh, start with mouth connection this is number one we need to put it uh, by hand or uh, like this you can mention in uh, AutoCAD drawing also. This one uh, you mentioned number 2 and what is the length. We need to measure the length and you put it in the software automatically. It will give the ESP for that particular area. So each item you mention the number. 
for example one easiest method is for example from here to here you can put a one single number because even uh, the de if the depth is straight and say same uh, sizing you can put you no know, one number also for example here one elbow is there and or for example one more turning is there as it is before uh, this branch same elbow is there you can put same number here and you can mention in the excel sheet two numbers is there like same like where you can uh, yes here you mentioned uh, quantity quantity you mentioned two numbers so automatically it will take uh, two quantity there in in this um, um, esp calculation you need to mention all straight deck motorized damper straight deck everything you see plain and boxes straight deck plain and boxes uh, elbows and the supplier uh, register whatever if uh, grill and if user that one or flexible deck that one here i did not mention flexible deck but flexible deck also need to be mentioned in the mention in the esp and after that this is only one um, unit okay only um, one machine like one fcu we can say fa fan goil unit vectored split one fan goil unit one piece so if there is many numbers we need to calculate we need to mention like this see the summary whatever the summary is there from this particular machine there is a total is there see total we mentioned here and in uh, 253 um, what is the uh, Pascal is there and we need to convert into inches of water inches of water uh, is it means the Pascal divided by 250 250 is a constant value so we can get uh, um, inches of water okay so that one we will uh, mention in the summary sheet okay here we mentioned everything see uh, here we for example this is the first machine the first one okay uh, pascal uh, calculated a uh, pascal inches of water okay uh, this we converted from here we are extracting this one and the factor of safety factor of safety uh, no need to put the 15 percentage is five percentage is more than enough some consultant they will ask uh, too much uh, you know things that's why the here this project we provided a 15 percentage of factor of safety and uh, design esp design esp you will get from the um, um, equipment schedule drawing in the equipment schedule uh, drawing uh, there will be a um, there will be a, what we call a, um, a design esp is there okay design esp for example here the, um, uh, after factor of safety 0 0.2 uh, 0 pascal is the sorry inches of water uh, is the um, uh, uh, esp if we are getting here design ESP 0 0.15 then we need to think about because uh, our uh, calculated value is more than design value means the equipment schedule need to be updated this we need to inform the consultant or client or whoever uh, we need to inform them because the ESP is more means the selected uh, or uh, designed and as per IFC that fan or uh, that FCU will not push the air until until to the last point of the uh, last point of the you know HVAC system and there the supply or velocity air velocity or uh, air CFM will be very less that will be a problem uh, for the cooling uh, system so that we need to note down in case if we are getting here the value the sorry if uh, if the value is uh, 0 0.25 here okay 0 0.25 you cannot type here because this is pdf 0 0.25 means there is no problem we are on a safe side we, uh, here is 0 0.20 and here it is uh, 0 0.25 then we are safe and, uh, there is no problem there, we are in under, con under control now. so like this all the uh, fans you can mention here or all the fcu you can mention here here you mention your <coughs> um, design uh, esp as per um, equipment schedule drawing so the things will be very clear in this way you can submit the esp calculation while you make submission for the esp calculation there is um, some things need to be attached like uh, this front page we need to attach in the front in the summary sheet as a summary sheet and all these pages we should attach 
Okay, all these pages we need to touch for uh, how many machine is there? Oh, each machine have this kind of each one paper, and um, uh, uh, also there is um, uh, what we call uh, attachments we need to attach. Like uh, uh, I will tell you the straight debt. Here we will go now to calculate this one. Now uh, here we need to calculate first, and then we will get a result. That paper we need to attach. Also. There is a um, data sheet we need to attach. We need to. We will come to that point first. So now we understand what are the things you need to attach with the ESP calculation. So now we will calculate now in in our software Azure Active Fitting Database. So first of all, we need to open this drawing. Okay. In this drawing. Uh, which portion you will I will calculate a simple portion to understand you later on you can uh, do it very well so here uh, this straight deck I will consider from here to here as a straight deck okay this one I will calculate for you for that we need to measure the length DLI this is in uh, you know this is in uh, I am not familiar with uh, adequate AutoCAD drawings, even though AutoCAD, I know how to draw the AutoCAD. Even though I will uh, explain, no problem. Where this was our deck? Ah, this one, yes. Let me check whether we can draw it. Ah. It is coming like it should not come like this. Okay, okay, uh, approximately, you, you can measure it properly. Now, uh, now it is not uh, you know corrected dimension. Even though approximately we got uh, 2.3 meters length and um, 200 by 150 depth. Okay, so here we need to enter that one. Uh, 200. Even if you change this up and down, there is no issues. Height, uh, but 200 into one five zero in straight deck there will not be much uh, you know um, uh, pressure loss and also he, now he need to absolute r uh, roughness we need to mention here for this ga deck for example this is ga deck thing we uh, here we have um, absolute roughness i will show you this one this is the engineering toolbox some um, you know some items you will get uh, information and all it's very nice for uh, absolute r uh, roughness, uh, here for uh, steel, galvanized steel, it is 0 0.15. Okay, we need to mention here 0 0.15 in our software. 0 0.15 and length, how much we measure it is? The length which I measure is not correct actually, exactly, but I don't know how to. 2.3 meter is there approximately. Okay, 2.3 meter. It is flow rate. No, here. 2.3. And here the flow rate is in liter per second. But in the drawing, where is the drawing? Here. In the drawing, this uh, flow rate is in, uh, here we can see, CFM. So 100 CFM we need to convert into liter per second. In or in for that, come over here. See here on uh, I convert in a software. Actually, we can convert directly. Else, it's uh, a factor is 2.11. If you divided by 100 by divided by 2.11, you will get this value. So now we convert here. Here you can enter like that. Convert and here you can see this uh, software name. Uh, this is the name of the software. Okay, now, now 47.19, here we need to enter here, in the software, 47.19, then here calculate, so 0 0.6 uh, only, Pascal only the friction loss, for that particular straight debt, where was it is here, 
for this particular straight deck 0.6 pascal only pressure loss now we need to calculate for the bcd now again we need here also one fire number is there for those things what we have there is one um, we need to open the catalogs catalogs for the fire number catalogs for the bcd as well in that you you will get uh, how to what is the friction loss you can check that size and uh, flow rate is there then uh, automatically the friction loss uh, you can find in the catalog here i will teach you uh, this there is a diff uh, grills and diffuser is there see there is a diffuser is there what the diffuser for the flow rate uh, same 100 cfm is there 150 150 uh, supply okay so uh, 150 150 100 cfm now we will open one catalog for the grills and diffuser this catalog is providing by the um, grills and diffuser uh, supplier only so he always always select uh, four ways uh, four way grills normally four way grills only construction people are uh, using there is a two way also there i will show you see this is three way you know, three side only is, uh, here will pass so here we will go for uh, four way because in the drawing also it is mentioned very clearly four way see four arrow is there one two three four so we will go for four way and again again 150 150 neck size, size is neck size and the uh, diffuser size both are different neck means it is uh, you know completely different the uh, the top uh, you know the, the top portion of the di diffuser okay neck size is 150 150 okay and our uh, cfm was 47 here we got 47 right where we got from the here 47 correct 100 cfm means 47 liter per second uh, sorry uh, here also i think uh, liter per second okay 47 liter per second so here which is nearest is 45 is 56 see first one 150 150 we can go for 45 also there is no problem but very important thing is that there is a you know noise criteria noise criteria means there is a uh, there's a uh, there is a standard uh, noise criteria is there for villas and other like home bedrooms okay it should be less than 15 at least maximum in the worst case it should be less than 20 so uh, here is the um, noise criteria is 18 it is you know it is oh, just okay it means it is not comfortable if less than 15 is the much mm, better noise criteria so here noise criteria is okay so what is the friction loss for this particular so this one what is the uh, friction loss for this particular grill here you can see this one see <coughs> here see velocity pressure 3.7 you can see here no 3.7 this one this is the velocity pressure so grill grills and diffuser directly we can enter in the our excel sheet um supply air you can mention here uh, uh what vcd vcd what is the flow rate what is the deck size and what is the here velocity no need to mention actually you can uh, directly mention here what is the um how many pascal it is we are getting how much we are getting uh, 3.7 pascal you can just mention here and w while you are submitting the esp you need to print out uh, print out this page and they highlight this one so the person person who is reviewing this one they will understand very quickly uh, okay with the reference only they have taken the esp now i will show you one more fittings in the drawing for example one elbow we have here see this elbow this is smooth elbow actually what is size for this deck it means 200 by 150 okay we will calculate what is the friction loss for this elbow all fittings is available in this uh, Asher Deck Fitting Database. We need to click for other elbows. You know, this is sharp bended. You know, there is a smooth bend also is there. See, this is smooth bend. You know, radius is more. In the drawing, we can check it. What is the radius? But the radius, we cannot. Uh, okay, angle we can mention here. You see, 90 degree. Radius, you can see. Mention here. 
and flow rate we can mention here. Once you enter those values, in the sharp uh, elbow it is not there, in the um, smooth elbow it is radius you can enter here, you can enter those values, then automatically this um, pressure will, pressure loss will come here. And also I will tell you how to make the print out this one. When you are making the print here, see, I will go for print preview, print preview here. See, the, this page you will get. All the details is here actually. This is one A4 page. You will get the result like this. Uh, date, everything will come automatically here. As a, a duct fitting database version 5. See, elbow, the radius, everything will come here. And see, the pressure loss automatically come here. And the elbow drawing also will come. You can attach all these fittings drawings along with the submission. So, the uh, person who is reviewing in the first submission itself, they will give the approval. So, uh, I think that's it for uh, ESP calculation. Uh, this is the um, software, you understand the software also, I think. Okay, um, and there are so many tools are there, you can work on it. It is very simple, there is no, nothing is complicated actually. Any doubt or something is there, you can uh, message me in the, um, in the YouTube uh, video itself. I will uh, reply to you. Also, I am making one, um, you know, MEP uh, textbook also for the site engineers and uh, uh, for uh, newly joined people, uh, you know, they are uh, facing a lot of problems in construction industry like HVAC or plumbing or firefighting. So, I am writing a book also, it is on finishing stage now. Uh, I, will ex I will make a video also once I prepare the book. Okay. Uh, so, that's it for this video. So, now this conclusion uh, this is the final uh, report what you need to prepare so i think you understand everything uh, about esp uh, calculation and one more thing at what i want to say you the esp calculation uh, for many things we need to prepare like yeah uh, like a uh, decked split unit okay and the fresh air fans exhaust fans ventilation fans and uh, all those things we need to prepare in um, esp calculation for uh, wall split or a split you see we don't want uh, no need to uh, ESP because it is directly uh, supplying the air there is no duct is coming nothing is coming same and uh, for um, basements there is a uh, jet fans is there jet fans no need uh, ESP the jet fan is a uh, uh, computer uh, simulation calculation is there uh, that one we will use okay so those things don't need a ESP calculation. So I think things is very clear now. You understand uh, how to prepare this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.